probably one of the most scenic and enjoyable experiences when in Interlaken for its calm and turquoise water surrounded by high mountains and picturesque villages. This is Lake Brains. We started our day at the bus station at Interlaken West where we use our Interlaken guest card for free bus travel to Iselwald. The bus is number 103 and leaves early throughout the day. There are timetables at the bus terminal or you can use the SBB app for times as these are subject to change. Please note there is no train station at Iselwald and the only way to get there is by road or on the lake. The road between Interlaken and Iselwald takes just over 30 minutes and is very scenic as it follows the edge of Lake Brins and passes through some small villages. The name of the stop you need is Iselwald Dorfplatz, which translates as Village Square and is the final stop on the route so you can't miss it. No doubt one of the reasons to visit Iselwald is to view the famous dog from the popular Korean romantic comedy TV series Crush Landing on You and this is easy to find from the village square by simply walking towards the lake and the dog is straight ahead. As we were early there were no other people but as the morning progressed there was a queue starting to form for people to stand on the dock to take pictures and reminisce the scene from the TV series. Iselwald contains a couple of hotels and restaurants as well as a small local store. There are small lanes and streets to wander through and there's also Mollybuck Fall waterfall to view. Although we didn't have time to take the short hike as we were due to take the ferry to Brins and didn't want to miss the departure. Another location from the TV series is on the promenade of Shuren which is a 10 minute walk through the village. You can also see Seabird Castle which is a distinctive white building on the peninsula and dates from 1907. Iselwald is a quiet village and a perfect place to relax while enjoying the calm turquoise lake and high mountain. You can spend a day or a few days depending on what you want to see and experience. The boats which are operated by BLS run on Lake Brins between April and September with different timetables in spring and summer so please check the website for current times before planning your visit. As we were traveling with an interrail pass we could use one of our travel days for this journey as well as our return journey to Interlaken Ost. The boarding happens quite quickly so it's best to be at the dock on time. Although the tickets are checked once on board so there's nothing to show the staff when getting on the boat. The boat that we were sailing on was the paddle steamer Lochberg which is one of the steamers in Switzerland that has been active for more than 100 years. It entered service in July 1914 however due to the outbreak of the First World War it was laid up and didn't re-enter service until 1923. Since then, it has been sailing every year with a few reworks and refurbishments through the years. The most recent in 2001-2002 to 
when the boiler was replaced and the original color green reintroduced. The journey time between Isavald and Brins is just less than 30 minutes and from the dock you can make onward connections with the bus or train as these are both located just a short walk away. One of the popular activities in Brins is to walk along the promenade which is a footpath that takes you along the side of the lake and has wonderful views across the lake and surrounding mountains. Along the promenade are several pieces of artwork including sculptures and wood carvings as well as wooden chairs and games. The large wood carvings along the lakeshore reflect the wood carving tradition of Brins which started in the early 1800s when a local wood turner started selling decorated goods to tourists. I recommend spending some time walking along the promenade to see the other side of the lake and to explore more of what brains can offer. You may notice some drinking fountains along the promenade or in many places in Switzerland and they are safe to drink and I often take the opportunity to fill my water bottle with a refreshing alpine water. Renowned as one of the prettiest streets in Europe, Brungas is lined with 18th century chalets which are decorated with wood carvings and ubiquitous geraniums which are typical house styles throughout this region of Switzerland. After walking up Brungas and turning left on Overdorstrasse, we came to the Evangelical Reformed Church. There has been a church on this location for almost 900 years since it was mentioned in a document from 1212. As is typical of many European churches, the building has passed through many owners and gone through lots of rebuilding work. Most recent in 1976 and 2016 when a mural on the outside wall was renovated and a new sun dial installed. The church is also a good place to see an overview of the lake and the village which showcases a typical Switzerland scenery. Regardless of the weather, you won't be disappointed by the view. There is toilet near the church should the need arises. As we were walking back towards the village, we saw a large bird gliding over the houses which we think was a red kite. And behind that was the Mullibak Fall waterfall cascading down the mountain. It was such an idyllic setting. On 
most of the Swiss lakes, there are various activities to partake in, and Lake Brins is no exception. It's possible to hire a motorboat, pedalo, rowing boat or paddle boards as well as join a jet boat tour which is advertised as a thrilling action-packed trip which lets you get close to the Gisbach Falls and experience 360 degrees turns and fast speeds. Should you wish to return to Interlaken, you can either take a train or continue cruising on the lake by boat like what we did using our interrail pass. Please make sure that you are aware of the schedule of boats so you know what time you need to be at the port. There is a restaurant on the boat should you need a refreshment or a meal. As you continue to cruise, you will see more sceneries and some people who choose to experience adventures on the lake. If this is the kind of activities you want to experience on Lake Prince, you can search online for more information. One of the boat stops on Lake Brins is the small village of Ringenberg, which is one of the docks between Isewald and Interlaken. Although we visited on another day, we use our Interlaken card for free bus travel. It could be visited as part of day boat trip, depending on the timetable and how long you want to stay at each village. From the boat dock, there are some steps straight ahead which leads up to the main road through the village. Or by taking the sloping road, we reach the most interesting feature of Ringenberg, which is the church castle. is a Swiss heritage site of national significance and was most likely built during the 12th century with the first historical records dating from 1240. Around 1300s, the tower of the castle was completed which was designed as a banqueting hall. During the 16th and 17th century, substantial reinforcements were added which included the shield wall. Then in 1670, the present-day church was inserted onto the site. Over the years, the castle fell into disrepair and it was in 1928 that it was restored for the first time and placed under Federal Heritage Protection. Further work was carried out in 1946-49 to and again in 1962-64 to under the guidance of architect Christian Frutiger. In 2006, it became necessary to carry out conservation work in order to maintain the existing features. This work involved the cleaning of the masonry and archaeological surveys carried out. At this time, the steel stairs and viewing platforms were added and this gave a wonderful view over the lake and village.
from Ringenburg to Interlaken, you can either take the bus for about 20 minutes or by boat for about 25 minutes. Both travel means are pleasant journeys back to Interlaken. When you visit Interlaken, I recommend to visit these villages for their easy access and enjoyable experiences. With its captivating nature and unique villages, Lake Brins is worth including in your itinerary when in Interlaken, Switzerland. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more getaways with Noel. Thank you for watching.